Hi everybody, I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. And what are two radio creative innovations for political candidates? Veritonic, the audio intelligence company, is out with a brand new study on two radio creative innovations that can generate significant impact for political candidates. Now, why focus on creative? Well, it is a crucial driver of impact for advertisers, whether it's for a retailer, a brand, or a political candidate. Nielsen finding that 47% of sales effect is generated by creative and analytic partner says that creative is the key driver of advertising performance campaign effectiveness, second only to investment levels. So Veritonic tested two very non-traditional approaches to political advertising. The first were ads that were voiced completely by the candidate. Now, you're typically used to hearing the voice of a candidate right at the end of a political ad where it says, I support this message or I approve of this message. Well, these were ads that were entirely voiced by the candidate. So that's an innovation number one. Innovation number two were ads that were customized to the radio station. They called out uh, listeners to the radio station using the station call letters or station name seeking input. So Veritonic tested uh, these two radio creative approaches and compared them to kind of the classic, typical political ads you would hear on the radio or on TV, they tested them against adults 18 plus. Uh, they measured them against registered voters and voters across the political spectrum. They measured uh, key emotional response attributes as well as intent to vote for the candidate. And they also uh, did a 48 hour recontact uh, to measure uh, ad recall. So the first, uh, Execution they tested was the candidate read versus the typical professional voiceover. The candidate read outperformed the Veritonic political average. It also outperformed the kind of classic uh, political ad you would hear on TV or on the radio with a professional voiceover. Emotions are critical to measure when you're testing your creative. Why? Positive emotional response leads to a positive evaluation of choice. This according to a book called System One, Unlocking Profitable Growth by John Kieran, Orlando Wood, and Tom Ewing. In short, they find that if something makes us happy, it's a good option or a good decision. And what they found with the ads completely voiced by the political candidate, that all of the positive emotions did better and the negative emotions uh, were less negative. So it was really a home run when you compared the candidate voiced ad versus the kind of professional, typical political ad. The intention to vote was stronger for the ad that was completely voiced uh, by the candidate. So a home run here and not surprising given the fact that there's so much evidence that a host read on the radio or a podcast always outperforms the uh, professional vo uh, voiced ad. So creative execution number two, this was a station specific ad that actually called out listeners uh, to the radio station using the station call letters or station name. It sought input, very different from your classic serious uh, political ad. The ad did exceptionally well when you compared it against kind of the generic political ad. It did better overall, better among registered voters, better among uh, Democrats, and most importantly, better with swing voters. All of the emotional attributes outperformed with the station specific ad, leading to a much stronger intention to vote score. So the second creative innovation for radio political ads doing very, very well. So uh, two new fresh approaches for political campaigns to consider. Use your candidate throughout the ad and consider this notion of customizing uh, ads uh, specific to the station. So these new approaches really strongly making the case for using 
AM FM radio to reach voters. The media uh, evidence is very strong to use radio. Radio is right up there with digital and TV in terms of voter reach and whether it's among Democrats or swing voters or Republicans, uh, radio has exceptionally high voter reach. And Nielsen conducting a lot of new research, finding that if you take 10% of your political campaign budget and reallocate to AM, FM radio, voter reach can go through the roof. And Nielsen is reporting that among registered voters, zero or light TV viewers are on the rise. And radio can really come to the rescue to reach those missed by linear TV. That 10% rule or 10% rule of thumb uh, can generate exceptional increase in reach by taking 10% of the TV budget and putting it to radio. And what it drives is swing voter increases in reach. So let's take a look at a classic political uh, media budget, a $250,000 budget. This is a Nielsen media impact analysis. This is the kind of typical mix, 50% broadcast TV, 20% cable, 15% allocated to OTT CTV, and 15% to digital. Now, this budget will get remixed very slightly by taking 10% of the budget away from broadcasting cable and moving it to AM FM, keeping OTT connected TV and digital flat. So same budget, slightly different mix, putting radio into the plan. What happens to voter reach? 235,000 additional voters reached. That's an 8% increase in voter reach. Impressions are up 7%. CPM is down. So this is the media planner's dream. You get greater reach, more impressions, and a more effective CPM. Now, Edison Research reporting from their share of ear study that when you look at or ad supported audio, AMFM dominates with a 76 share among registered voters. And that dominant share is consistent across the entire political spectrum. So. AM, FM radio should be the centerpiece of any political audio plan. So key findings here, some new best practices using the voice of the candidate uh, throughout the entire ad generates much stronger creative testing according to Veritonic, stronger emotional impact and greater intent to vote. The second Creative innovation for radio ads, customizing the ad with station specific verbiage, drove a positive emotion impact, much stronger uh, intent to vote. And from a media perspective, AM FM is part of the big three, number two in voter reach right behind digital. Nielsen is reporting among voters, zero or light TV viewers are on the rise. AM FM comes to the rescue reaching those that are missed by linear TV with CPMs that are far more efficient than connected TV. And uh, for political campaigns, when you look at ad supported audio, AM FM has a dominant 76 share of registered voters and moving 10% of the political media budget to AM FM radio generates extraordinary lift in voter reach, keeping budgets the same. Each and every week, the audio active group here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One publishes new audio insights. The audio active team is responsible for measuring the impact of the entire audio investment. We give advice to national brands on creative best practices, media planning and allocations. And our weekly uh, audio insight can be uh, found on our websites, cumulusmedia.com, westwood1.com. And when you get there, you can sign up uh, to get the weekly insight or case study sent to your email box for free. Thanks so much for the opportunity to share with you the brand new Veritonic findings on two new innovative radio creative solutions for political campaigns. Thanks so much.